You are home to GTV Africa from our studio in Abuja. Week review. At the story, week review is a story of what has happened in the, in the week and coming to you from us to you. I'm Gimiga Olamikon. In the week, President Tinubu, in the week, reveals to Nigerians that his government will remove the pains of subsidy removal on Nigerians. He declared that reform in the country may be painful. Listening to President Bola Tinubu as he delivered his October 1st broadcast and promises made to Nigerians. There is no joy in seeing the people of this nation shoulder burdens that should have been shared years ago. I wish today's difficulties did not exist, but we must endure if we have to reach the good side of our future. My government is doing all that it can do to ease the load. The economy, there is physical and monetary policy to fight inflation, encourage production, ensure the security of lives and property, and lend more support to the poor and the vulnerable. Based upon stakeholders. We are introducing a provisional wage award increment to enhance the federal minimum wage without causing undue inflation. For the next six months, the average low-grade worker shall receive an additional 25,000 Naira per month to ensure better grassroots development. We set up an infrastructure support fund for states to invest in critical areas. States have already received funds to provide relief packages against the impact of rising food and other prices, making the economy more robust by lowering transport costs shall be key. In this regard, we have opened a new chapter in public transportation through the development of cheaper, safer, compressed natural gas, CNG, buses across the nation. These buses will operate at a fraction of current fuel prices, positively affecting transport fare. The new CNG conversion scheme will start coming in very soon as all hands are on deck to fast track the usual lengthy procurement process. We are also setting up training facilities and workshops across the nation to train and provide new opportunities for the transport operators and enterprises. This is a groundbreaking moment where, as a nation, we embrace more efficient means to power our economy. In making this change, we also make history. I pledged a thorough house cleaning of the den of my visions the CBN has become. That house cleaning is well underway. A new leadership for the central bank has been constituted. Also, the special investigator will soon present its findings on the past lapses and how to prevent similar recurrences. Henceforth, monetary policy shall be for the benefit of all and not the exclusive province of the powerful and wealthy. Wise tax policy is essential for the economic fairness and development. I have inaugurated a committee on tax reform to improve the efficiency of tax administration in the country and address physical policies that are unfair or hinder the business environment and slow our growth. To boost employment and urban incomes, we are providing investment funding 
for enterprises with greater potential. Similarly, we are increasing investment in micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises. Commencing this month, the social safety net is being extended through the expansion of the cash transfer program to an additional 15 million vulnerable households. Mubad, everyone knows what is happening and what is going on as regard to the investigation that the Lagos Police Command is carrying out. A Lagos State Police Command declares Prime Boy wanted. Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer SP Benjamin Ndeyin Within the week, informed Nigerians that Lagos Commissioner of Police, Idowu Owohunua, has declared to offer 1 million naira to anyone with useful information that can lead to the arrest of wanted Owodoni Ibrahim, aka Prime Boy. SP and then made, it, made this known in a statement. He said, following the failure to honor a police invitation successfully sent to him since commencement of the investigation into the circumstances leading to the death of Mr. Ilerio Lua Aloba, a.k.a. Mumbad. The Lagos State Police Command hereby declares Owodoni Ibrahim, a.k.a. Prime Boy, wanted. However, after declaration, Prime Boy reported at the police station and alleged that he was never invited by the police. Coming to the FCT, Police Commissioner of Police Haruna Garuba appealed tonight to residents of FCT to warn their wives and children to desist from raising false alarm on the disappearance of male organ and not to resort to jungle justice to avoid loss of innocent lives and in the process. Also advised residents to be wary of the kind of vehicle the board has one chance suspects who operates from Hewahe to Nyanya and other parts of Abuja were arrested. Police operative from Apo Division, FCT Police Command, in the week also arrested two members of Black Axe Court, aka Aye Confrontality, who attempted to rob a POS operator of our money. Two locally made pistol with two rounds of live cartridges were recovered from the suspect at the scene of the robbery. Alleged disappearance of male organs. The FCT command has had recorded over 10 cases of alleged disappearance of male organs across the federal capital threat. And this has escalated to mob action by arid use. It takes the intervention of the police command to prevent loss of life and then restore law and order. 14 suspects so far who claim their male organ had disappeared were taken to the hospital where the medical doctor confirmed that the male organ is, is intact and active. If the male organ is, is intact and active, I see no reason why an alarm can will be raised. These suspects were subsequently charged to court for giving false information and inciting public disturbance. In all of these cases, if not for the prompt response, to this decent call by the police officers, we would have had a fatal case in all of this. Nobody died in the process, but they were beaten. But the good thing is that they were rescued. And the victims, so-called victims, who, who raised false alarm have been arrested. So I wish to seize this opportunity to, to appeal to residents of FCT to warn their wives and children to desist from raising false alarm. 
This is just a, a psychological thing. The male organ certainly did not disappear. According to the medical report that we got from the hospital, so they are enjoined not to resort to juggle justice or mob action. Because if you do, innocent lives may be lost in the process. We also have arrest of armed robbers, courtes, and recovery of firearms. On 22nd of September 2023, police operating from Apo Division also responded to a distress call around Gudu market that on getting to the scene it turned out that two hoodlums who later came to be identified as Oye Dikashi Shuku and Uche Obi were trying to rob a POS operator of his money. The two subjects were promptly arrested on the act and they confessed to be members of a black arts confraternity so two locally made pieces and two rounds of live cartridges were recovered from them instantly. They are here with us for you to interview them. The Speaker House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, Nigeria Speaker, attends conference of speakers and heads of Africa parliaments in Ghana and declares that it must continue to strengthen parliaments around the continent so as to find legislative solution to the challenges facing respective countries. Speaking during, the, during a meeting on the sideline of the ongoing CCC Commonwealth Parliamentary Conference taking place in Accra, Ghana, Speaker Abbas said there is no better time for Africa Parliament to come together than now, given the myriad of challenges facing countries on the continent. He said there was the need for parliaments in Africa to come together to support the African Union, which is umbrella body of the countries on the continent. He said we never had a forum to share ideas and synergy together, and that is why we remain porous and divided in Africa. Abbas said, I think there is no better time than now for the conference of speakers to take a decisive decision to agree to this initiative. It is very noble, very cogent, and the reward will be inestimable in the future. Abbas said, I believe even for the support of African Union presidents and leaders, there is the need for us to also have similar structure so that we can come together. Sometimes we can even look at what they are doing so that we can take a position on those matters either to support them or to advise them. Also this week, Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Dr. Beta Edu, has flagged up the verification of National Social Register in five villages in Lagos State, Southwest Nigeria, with a promise to get Nigerians a social register with integrity. The exercise, which commenced simultaneously across the country in line with the President Bola Tinubu Renew Hope agenda, will last for three weeks. Speaking shortly after the after she carried out door-to-door -door verification of the register at the remote Lagos suburb, the minister who was ferry in a keno said the federal government was ready to put money in the hands of Nigerians to assist them in their businesses, education, and on their children, livelihood, and job creation. According to her, the exercise is an integrity test President Bola Ahmed Zubu wants sincerity in who gets the conditional cash transfer. He wants to truly touch the lives of poor and change things for the better. Dr. Edu said those who are captured would be checked to know if they deserve 
to be on the register or not, while areas that was left out will be covered. She noted that we need to verify that people on the list live below $1.95 a day and are affected by multidimensional poverty and sincerely are those who need help. Those who have no business being there should be removed. Those who need to be registered should be included. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, GTV Africa, and every other social network. Check our website, www.gtvafrica.com, and like our Facebook page. Till I come your way again next week, I come with bumper review of the week. I'm Bimiga Olamikon, and with me in the studio is Olua Damilola Olua Tobi. Till I see you again, peace be unto you.